All right, guys. <clears throat> Jeez, that sounds terrible. <clears throat> All right, guys. So today, uh, well, welcome back to Fine Haven Homestead. It's been a while. Um, today we are going to be hydro seeding. I'll show you guys how to do that. Nothing to it. It's not hard. Stick around. Hydro seed. Bag of seed. Bag of fertilizer. Bag of lime. Another bag of seed. And uh, you'll need something called uh, Flock Lock or Nutri Grow or yeah, some combination. Um, actually, Nutri Culture. There it is. They gave it to us. So we got that and we got the regular triple 19 fertilizer. All right, let's get this loaded up in the truck. All right, so we got everything uh, loaded up. So I'm gonna try to make this a how-to tutorial. So if you want to hydro seed, and this is a really, really small lot, so it's only gonna take one batch. But if you want to hydro seed, you got to uh, buy hydro seed material, which is what we just loaded up. You have to rent a hydro seeder. We've got one on rent already. It's at the farm. We're gonna go get it. All right, buy the material, rent the hydro seeder, mix the uh, the material into the hydro seeder. I don't know if I'll be able to get a video of that or not, but. Uh, if nothing else, I'll explain to you how to do it. And and then you have to actually spray it. It's really not that hard. People charge a lot of money to hydro seed. And uh, honestly, pretty much anybody can do it themselves. Uh, any local place that rents heavy equipment, um, like Sunbelt United, um, we have comeback rentals here. That's who we use. They can rent your hydro seeder. They're relatively inexpensive, 200, 250, 300 dollars a day, somewhere in that neighborhood. And then uh, the material is not too bad. So like my buddy, or not my buddy, but my my cousin's husband, Matthew, uh, he just hydro seeded his entire yard. Uh, they had given him a quote for six thousand dollars to come hydro seed it, and he made it happen for a little over two. Just had a little sweat equity in it. So anyway, all right, stay tuned. All right, so. Um... We got to mix the hydro seed. We've got some water. Water. Well, if you can see that. Water. Water. AKA the pond. Man power. One man power. <laughs> <laughs> this is a, it's a one man power machine here. Doesn't move too fast. All right, so anyway, we're gonna mix this stuff together. She's gonna video. I got some assistance now. She's gonna video. I'm gonna mix. Um, if you're gonna do this yourself, and you try to fill it up with a water hose, then bless your heart. It's gonna take you a long time. 600 gallons is a lot with a water hose. Um, we've got a water pump. And we'll, with show, a, we'll show you out there. We'll show you out there with a two inch line, and we're gonna pump it out of the pond, and it's gonna fill it up super fast. So yeah, we'll show you how to mix this stuff up. It's not hard. All right, so you're gonna go to your local uh, heavy equipment rental place, and you're gonna tell them you need a hydro seeder, um, and this is what you're gonna get, something very similar to this. Um, hydro seeder? Yeah, hydro seeder. So they'll hook it up for you, but if for some reason they don't, you'll need a panel hook. This is a panel hook. A lot of you guys probably don't have a panel hook, but that's okay because they can rent you one of those also. 10, 12, 15 bucks, something like that. So anyway, you hook up the panel hook, hook up the uh, chains, hook up your lights. It takes gas here, but it should be fully fueled up. Uh, tip, when you get done using it and you go to take it back, swing by a gas station fill it up with fuel even if it only takes like two or three gallons because they'll charge you like five or six dollars a gallon if they have to fill it up it has to come back topped off all right this is how you crank it up this is the where do you crank it up at? this is how you crank it up with okay. the key all right this selector um initiates the pump to actually spray so if you flip in this case and they'll all be different in this case if you flip it up then it moves the controls to here to this button so that you can spray through this wand up here that's right if you, machine gun. That's right. If you flip the control down, then it sprays constantly, and that's if you want to use this reel. And how you use the reel is you take this pipe, which comes from the pump, undo it from here very easily, just like this. Just undo it and hook it up to this pipe here. So then everything flows through here and comes out here. And you have a turn on and off nozzle here. Kind of like a fire hose. Kind of like fire hose, exactly. So, if you've got it where it's constantly spraying, then you turn it on and off with that handle. If you've got it up here, then it don't actually spray. If you've got it up position, it doesn't. It doesn't actually spray until you hit the button. 
so that you can shoot it through the hose. And then if you've got it in the middle, it's off. It's a three-part switch. How much does it cost to rent one of these? Two hundred fifty dollars a day, give or take. Um, if you have trouble cranking it, like maybe it's cold where you are or something. Well, if it's really cold, you shouldn't be hydrating. But anyway, if you have trouble cranking it, then you pull the choke. That's the choke. This gauge here is a, a recirculator. It, some of the product comes out here, some of the product comes out of here and goes back inside the tank um, to recirculate. You mostly use that when you're cleaning the tank out at the end, not really when you're spraying, so we can cut that off. Now here's a, a agitator. Anyway, you're supposed to be able to switch this from agitate to spray. One way is supposed to be agitate to mix, and the other way is supposed to be spray, and it's so that it stays in the right, so that it pushes the material in the right direction towards the pump. Agitate pulls it the other way, and spray pushes it towards the pump. There's big propellers in here. I don't know if you ever see that. I got a bad glare on my end. Anyway, there's big propellers in there that mix everything up. The throttle cable is right here. While you're mixing, it needs to be up really high. When I'm going down the road, it doesn't have to be that high. All right guys, so we are here at the lot. This was a house in Conway, South Carolina that we tore down, uh, Allen's Demolition. Um, so anyway, uh, we're gonna hide to see this lot. I'm gonna hide to see this lot. So what I was thinking was, as I, as I, uh, So what I was thinking was that uh, I mixed all that stuff up and I didn't really tell you guys how I was mixing that. But anyway, you saw it probably on time lapse. So if you go to your local uh, seed place or like mulch and turf place or whatever, um, for us it's Vereen's on Highway 90, you just go to them and tell them what you're trying to do, they'll help you. That's They want to sell some seed. So typically it's anywhere from three to four of those big containers of mulch and then uh you know a bag of uh contractors mix normally and then whatever other type of ground cover you want like you know centipede or bermuda onions. not onions no not onions like onion grass it's a thing is that a grass i don't know if that's a thing yes, or not. you never drove through a neighborhood after they cut the grass and smell like onions no. I, I like the ones I don't know. I don't know. I don't know either. I'm just saying. But anyway, just get with them and they'll tell you exactly how much. They'll tell you the right amount of all the stuff. Because, like, if you guys notice, I only put like half a bag of lime in there. You don't need a whole bag of lime. And I only put like half a bag of that neutral grow stuff. I put the whole bag of contractors mix. All right, so anyway, we're going to spray it. This isn't going to take long at all. This is a very small lot. In fact, I'm probably got way too much. So. If I spray this really thick, it's because I'm trying to get rid of all this uh, seed that I mixed. Because you can't mix like a half a container, you gotta mix the whole thing, you know what I mean? So it's gonna be abnormally thick, which means they're gonna have fun mowing the grass. So that's okay. That's what they want. They want lots and lots of grass, so that's what they're gonna get. Alright, let's do this. Let's do it. Let's do it! Let's do it!
Maybe 15 minutes. I don't think it's that long. Yeah, it's not even that big yeah, at all. That's the that whole big. thing right there. Yep. It's pretty fun. All right. Yeah, okay, so we're done, but you have to clean this machine out. So all you do is basically, just like when we were mixing it, you fill it with water. Um, you take that pipe and you clean the outside of it if there's anything that's spilt, and then you just run clean water through it. You spray it out the nozzle without the tip in it. It just comes out in a big, huge ball um, until it runs clear. That's it. And then you can take the machine back. Yep, and we'll show you that when we get back home. All right, so that's how you hide your seed. Um, get with your local seed guy. They'll tell you how much to mix. Rent the machine from your local heavy equipment place. Um, Call Michael and he'll do it for you. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That works too if you're local. Um, mix it properly. Spray it. Not quite as thick as we sprayed it. Clean the machine out and uh, fuel the machine back up before you turn it in. You're good to go. Save lots of moolah. This wasn't really a homesteading video. It's kind of like yeah, this isn't a homesteading video, but uh, Dan Lockett. Yeah, kind of like a Dan Lockett. But if you uh, are, are, you know, if you just get a new homestead, maybe, and if you do a lot of uh, site work on it to build a house or something, then you're going to have to get grass, and you've only got a couple options. You can seed it, or you can hydro seed it, or you can sod it. Sodding is expensive. sodding is very expensive. Hydro seeding is going to cost even if you do it yourself, it costs a little bit more than seeding it. But you'll have grass in ten days. Yep. That's you seed it, and there's no telling how long it'll take to get grass. And you got to have good irrigation if you're going to seed it. You got to right. keep everything moist. This sticks really heavy. This sticks really heavy. <laughs> so anyway, it could kind of be on. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Are you about to die from all the arms? <laughs> <laughs> right, anyway, anyway, like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Bye. Bye. Today's episode is brought to you by... You put 
great value. Purified drinking water. I wish.